Hey everybody, Brandon Swanson along with Sean Anderson and Sean, Carolina, Brandon. Seattle. Tell us a little something about both teams and uh, who you think is going to win. Surprisingly, the Panthers were in that game against the Raiders, and that was more because Derek Carr got hurt. But still, you know, the Panthers didn't look terrible. They looked in it with the Raiders, who looked fantastic. This defense was pretty bad in the in the in the last drive, not being able to cover cover Michael Crabtree. But the key for the Panthers to shock the world and beat the Seahaw- Seahawks this this uh, this upcoming week is pressure Russell Wilson. And it was the key for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers last week, and that's how they won the game. Six sacks on Russell Wilson. you got to pressure Russell Wilson every time he drops back. This offensive line is not good for the Seattle Seahawks, and if Carolina can you know put pressure on uh, Russell Wilson, that's going to create a lot of havoc in that backfield. They haven't been able to run the ball, so that's going to make them very one-dimensional. They haven't even tried. No, they haven't. They haven't even tried. Tw- I mean, they, they had Thomas Rawls back, and he only had 12 carries. 12 carries for uh, Thomas Rawls. Trust me, 38 yards, too. I've, I had him on my fantasy team, and he uh, had him. sorely disappointed. I still have him. He's on my bench, though. But Carolina needs to pressure Russell Wilson if they want to get a win here. And then for the Seahawks, surprisingly, they need to run the ball because, obviously, Thomas Rawls has not done much since he's come back. Trust me, I have him on my fantasy team. You need to be able to be a balanced attack against the Carolina Panthers. If you're not getting a lot on the ground, you just need to be able to run the ball, though, because you know Carolina is just going to send a ton of pressure every single time because uh, again, to Russell Wilson to try to sack him, you need to be able to kind of throw them off the trail, whether you're going to run or pass, because Thomas Rawls can break uh, a rush off, but you need to be able to throw them off. So you need to be able to run. You need to stick to the run. Possibly 17 to 20 carries for Rawls would be huge. I, I think that's going to be the key for the Seahawks. I think they're going to win a close one, 17 to 14, and uh, a Hauschka uh, game winner because he's not kicking in Arizona. He's kicking in Seattle where they are 5-0. and Is it a 50-yarder or more for the game winner? No, 33. Nah. 33 left hash. Nah, it's not going to do me all that great. But anyways, fans, sorry, folks, listeners, viewers, make sure you comment down below Friends, in the comment family. section. And uh, Rabbi, also make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe to MVP. We are on our quest for 5,000. And check out our Patreon page. Become a patron. Give back a little bit more each month. And we will give you a little something each month as well. That is going to do it for us. We've got one more preview. Keep it right here with us at MVP. One more. Week 13 in the NFL. Un mas. Adios. Your Spanish is outstanding, man. Excelente.